Hi everyone, it's Kelly Van Washen over here with Educational Technology Services. I'm going to walk you through one way that you can use Google Docs with breakout rooms so that you can have students take collaborative notes during activities and then you can check later to see what students participated and to see what notes they've taken. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, we're going to begin in Google Drive. This is where you're going to create those documents that you want students to collaboratively take notes on. So I have a folder in here called Demo 101 Class, W101 Class. And inside here, this is my imaginary demo course. But if you're using Google Drive with your class, you'd probably have all of your class materials in one spot. I'd recommend actually making a folder that says something like class notes or however you want to name that so you can keep everything in one spot. So when I open my class notes folder I'm going to go to new Google Docs and here I have a new Google document that I can start and then share with my students for them to take notes. And for the purposes of how I'm setting up the activity, it's important for me to be the owner on the Google Doc because then I can set the permissions that students have to make suggestions and comments. And then I can track real easily and see who is making what changes and who's adding what to the document. It's just a lot easier to do it that way instead of having them be the owner and editor of the document. So I might name my document something to do with the date because if you're doing these for multiple dates, um, the date is a great way to get started with that. So let me do 8-6-2020 group notes. And then down here, I'm going to name this group one. And I'm going to also put the date again. And I'm going to include my class name or my class number along with my name because students might do activities like this in other classes it would be good for them to be able to see what class the documents being shared with them are related to so this is my standard setup I'm going to use some of the formatting that's available through Google documents and just do some quick changes here there we go Okay, so now I've done my quick changes just to have a standard template. And I might want to give students instructions along the lines of, please take your, if I could spell the word group, that would be good, <laughs> group notes below. You could even start a bulleted list for them if you know you want them to do a bulleted list or however you want to include instructions, make sure you put that on there. So now I've done group one, put please take your group notes below and I have this is the standard template that perhaps I want to provide students with. You might have more instructions or you might choose to do a collaborative commenting activity where you paste an article in and they go ahead and comment on it. So if you're doing something like that obviously this would look a little bit differently. For the purposes of the demo I'm just talking about group notes but there's a variety of ways you can do different collaborative documents for activities with your courses. So here I have group one. I'm also going to indicate that it's group one in the name up there. All right, so now I'm going to make copies of this. For my course, I know I want four groups. So I'm going to make four copies of this document and then I'm going to set permissions so that each of the people in the class have the permissions they need to access the documents. So I'm going to go up to file and choose to make a copy. And for now, I'm just going to leave that because I'm going to go into each one and make changes. So there's one copy. Choose File, make a copy. Making a second copy. File, make a copy. And now I have a third copy. So I have three copies of the same document. And what I'm going to do is I need to now rename them all so they reflect the correct group numbers. And then I'm also going to share them with the students that I'm planning to put in those groups. So here is group one. 
that one is my template and that one is done. So now I'm going to my second copy. I'm going to rename the title to say group two. I'm also going to put group two up here in this title. And then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm renaming the file name to group three. Group three is the title. And then the last one I'm doing the file name as group four and then group four is the title. So now I have four different documents that I'm going to share with those corresponding groups in my Zoom call. So I have all of these set up. There are a few different ways you might want to share the documents. So one thing to know, if you already have your groups planned and you know how you're going to group your students, you could even go ahead and type in group members here and then you could list your group members right there. Um, you could do the same on every one of those documents if you wanted. And these are just people I have in the demo course. And you could do that for all of them if you knew your group members. If you don't know the group members, you're obviously not going to be able to put their names in there. So now I'm going to go up to the share. This share button in the Google Docs, this is the one where you set permissions for how other people can view your document. So I'll click share here. And if I already know exactly who I want to share it with and I don't want anyone else in the entire world to be able to access this document, I can type in their names. And then I could choose instead of editor to make them commenters. And that's very important because that's how you're going to see that Google Docs will give you different colors for each time someone writes on it. So it just helps you to, to see it, what everyone has put on there. And I typically uncheck the notify people because I would just copy this link to share with the students during the class. And you'll see the link in a moment, but you can just copy the link and that's how they could access it. So I'm just going to hit share there. And now if I wanted to grab the link for this particular document, I can click share. I can go ahead and down here where it says get link, if I click copy link, it's going to copy that link so I can give it to Ron and Anu to come in and make edits. And you can see there it says restricted, only people with the link, only people added with this link can go ahead and access this. The other option if you don't pre-plan your groups is that you can change this whole link to be just all of Denison University and you can give them commenter rights and copy the link there. This would be more if um, you're not really worried about students trying to share the link out outside of class. And this is just a lot easier to go ahead and grab the link and toss that into the Zoom meeting without having to put all of the students' names in your class or select that Google group to add your class to. So I'm going to copy this link and choose Done. And now I have the link for this. What's come up in a few sessions where we've done this is, okay, once I get the link, how am I giving that to students? So there are a few ways you can give the link to students. You could certainly give it to them in advance by putting it in Notebull, or you can just create another Google Doc, which is an option, and you could call it group one link, group two link, etc. here. And then when you're in the Zoom meeting, you can just share this one file with the whole class so that they can all go ahead and get their corresponding links. All right. So these are really the only people in my group one. And I would just do the same thing for all of them. So in this, I would hit share. And I would go ahead and type in the people's names. Or I would change get link to anyone at Denison University. Make sure I make them commenters and hit done. So I would gather all of those links in the same way and put them in this document.
All right, and I might name that my file name just so I know. All right, so once I have that set up, I'm ready to take this information and put it in my Zoom course. So I'm going to click on Share here. Again, I need to choose who is going to be able to get this link. I'm going to copy this link here so that they can just see it. This is just really a quick one because I just want to give them access to be able to grab their real group note links. And I will hit done after I've copied that link. All right, so now let's go into our Zoom meeting. Okay, so now that we're in the Zoom meeting, you can see students that we have in the class. And um, I'm professor person up here, and then we do have a couple real students. Uh, so once we're doing class and we're getting ready to send everyone into those breakout rooms, I've already copied that link from my Google document that I'm going to share. But to reiterate, you just come and you get the share link and it gives them all of the different notes that they'll need, all the links to their actual group notes for the activity. And then I would suggest going over to the chat, making sure it's set to everyone, and telling them, go to this document to get your group notes. And I'm just going to paste that file right in there. And then I'm going to tell the students, okay, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. I just gave you a link in the chat. Once you're in your breakout room, go to the corresponding link to take group notes for your class today. Does that make sense, everyone? Thumbs up? All right. And then for today's activity, since we're just demoing Anu or um, Fred and Dobby the house elf, I want you to go in there and just write a bunch of things so that we can see what it looks like, okay? All right. So now I'm ready to put my students in the breakout rooms. I'm going to click breakout rooms. I'm going to do a manual sort here. I don't have many students in, in the demo, so I will click create breakout rooms. I can rename them if I want. So maybe if you have particular kinds of names, you could do that. The other thing to do is to click assign. And now this is where I'm going to choose who is going in what rooms. And I'm going to click Assign here, so I think they're actually those two. And I can also add a room on the fly if I decide I, I actually need another room for people. So these are my rooms. I have additional options if I want here, but I'm not going to go into that during this demo. And I'm going to click Open All Rooms. So now they should all get a message. So go off to your rooms and please take notes in there on your group activity. So once they're all in the rooms, they, they have to click to join their rooms. And once they're in, you could actually click to go in and join if you needed. And once you're done, you can click this option to, to close all rooms. And it's going to give them a countdown for how long until the breakout rooms close. So we'll just give it that 53 seconds. Another thing that's great about having them do group notes is while they're still in the rooms, you can go over to those Google documents that you've created. So let's move that. And you can take a look and you can see while they're in their groups exactly what they're doing. So those two are in here and I can click and see that who is writing what in these group notes. And then after class, I'll always be able to access these in my class notes folder if I need to reference them later. And this will be a great way to gauge participation. And it's also a great way to just check in on your groups so that you can see what they're doing as they're doing it. All right. I chose to close those groups, and everyone is probably back in the Zoom now. Okay, now once everyone's back in the room, if you have another activity, you can always send them into more breakout rooms or you can pick up with the class conversation. Something else you, would, you could consider doing is you could ask them to share their screen. So if one of you want to share your screen, you could go over the notes that you took as a group and you could talk about those with the rest of the class. You don't have to do that for the demo. But the students could share their screen and discuss what they did in their small groups. 
All right, so that was a quick demo on how to use Zoom and Google Docs to do some group activities um, and be able to kind of keep track of what all of your groups are doing. I hope that was helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions. Email servicedesk at denison.edu. Bye. Have a good day.